Jamal has mentally, physically, emotionally abused me. I remember even there was days he used to call me and tell me how how they used to have sex with Amber. You understand? And um, man, I I So, I remember also that time Nikona Jamal Akona Amba and um, this man Juzi Alice Mati oh, used to take care of me and she and Fanya shopping and Fanya Nini. Mind you, I used to I used to accumulate Billy Steamer up to at a 70k. I have receipts I can show you. I used to have steamer seventy thousand Sina chakula, even my friends used to come through for me, wanatumane pesa kidoga, kukula, and all that. At that time, sikuwa na biashara yangu, I was just a stay at home mom. Jamal is a kind of person, anapenda sana watu kwe dependent on him. So anywhere mahali, you feel, he feels like, uneza saidika, awezi, atakangi, anatakanga ukwe fully dependent on him, ni kama meukata migu in short. So at that time, mimi sina kitu, I'm just at home, taking care of my kids. Sina pesa chakula, sina nini, I'm struggling. Um, and I remember the first time I opened my business is the day I... Nilikuwa, ni, actually, nile siku jamala ambu wali andaga kuna toga japa, Mpinski. Yeah, I left and I went to Dar es Salaam and I got my things and slowly nikanza biashara angu, you see. So... Um, mambo ni mingi. I'm just trying to remember the incidences. And I think Jamal to some point walikosana na na Amber. Um, after the Amber had moved out, Jamal moved in with her. And even when he moved in with her, he never used to sort out our bills. Amanda and by that time, I was managing, I was working And <laughs> Jamal came back from the Kusan Amber. And I remember that day I was traveling to Dubai. And Jamal was in the Mbani. He 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 was in the So. Me, I was traveling and then I can drop airport that day. That the same day he came. Kakuja kapata nikwa like me, I have to still go to my safari regardless of Jamal being there. Ma kuwa. So um, I went to Dubai and I remember that time it was my birthday. And when I was still in Dubai, I I left my kids um, at home and Jamal was there. But nikwa nafikiri he was at home. But Imagine all this time at Nikiwa away, he never used to stay at home even kuangaliata watoto. And when I was in Dubai that time in my when on my birthday, I was sick and I got COVID after my birthday. So I could not come home. Um even with all that ku em Ilya Merudi and I don't even think he even cared about my well being because when I was even sick. Haku shugudikata skumoza kujua na nendelea jama nini, he was never even at home. And I even have a conversation of me complaining that, hey, me, I'm away in Dubai and I'm sick. You're not even looking after the kids. Like, what's going on? So I come back home, ni mepona, and then I I went to Da with my friend David. So to me travel to Wenda Da. And then, um, but I remember that time when Jamal came, he came home very broke very very broke and i don't know what happened to his biashara and i think he had issues and his biashara was not you know i could run his story and then jamal sent me um a text my investors will make a pesa sasa that is the time huduma is coming up i hope i'm not too as in story i'm going to so i mean that jamal investors will make a pesa ya kufungua huduma credit and then Jamal sends me that I cook a bank, I'm to money, and all that. 
and then he's like hey finally um we will sort out our issues and i remember that time at a time before ni travel kwenda da jawal gareke was and ilikuwa imechukuliwa na auctioneers kwa sababu amechukua gari na loan right so hana gari we used to commit na taxi nini tuko kwa taxi tunaelekea town maybe ananiambia oh sijali amira um mambo itakuwa poa yani i have changed for real yani he made me alinifanya ni muamini amebadilika ananiambia oh you know i've changed sita irudi saizi let me stay with my family i'm never going back to the kind of person i used to be i believed him unaona sasa mtu kwa sababu you see isingekuwa mnyama nikose kumsamea nikamsamea that time but me bad i went to da so this the story nimekupatia yeye kuja kwa mama is between now coming from dubai and me going to dar es salaam so i mean da next thing jamal amepata pesa from investors next thing wameenda ethiopia na amba <laughs> um, i came back home jamal hakuwa alikuwa Ethiopia they did a road trip or something na hiyo time walienda na jeep if you guys remember vizuri add 1 plus 1 hata kwa na gari yake range so also at that time Jamal alikuwa amuza pia gari yangu and i remember this time kuna siku Jamal aliletea gari kuletea gari so gari yangu ya kwanza i used to drive a small car akauza and then he got me another car so when he got me that car nakumbuka siku moja tumetoka kwa nyumba na watoto tulikuwa tuna tunaenda it was on on a, on a weekend hivi tunaenda swimming can you imagine nilishukishwa kwa hiyo gari na watu hao wa ku ara siwajui nani actually nilisimamishwa na polisi and then tukaambia hey, gari na daiwa they need their car i just talked to this guys wakanipeleka mali nilikuwa napeleka wakani drop wakachukua gari yao and all this time imagine jamal with with uh, my first car sina mambo ile alizanga gari yangu also there was this time i remember i was going to with the kids to wisley moran can you imagine the way this man ana roho mbaya nimetoka na gari usiku ilikuwa jioni actually na watoto tumeenda wisley moran kuangalia tu bila iko and then maybe we'll come another day can you imagine this guy guy alinizimia gari kwa barabara akanizimia gari and it's usiku ndo tunarudi from Wisin Moran if you guys have been to Wisin Moran you know how that place is any yani before you even join the main road this man i don't even think he cares about anyone except himself so amenizimia gari mimi nahangaika ni kwa